Hey Clashers, there's a new challenge in the game, the Shadow Challenge. Now I will show you the easiest, by far easiest way on how to 3 star And not like this, where you have to charge the town hall, have to do 1 million things at the same time. No, it's just way easier. But before we're jumping to the challenge, we're going to take a look at the new Warden skin. The Shadow Warden, you can buy that in the in-game shop for a couple of euros or dollars or wherever you are on the world. And, well... Is it only me or like this book of the Warden? It's kind of reminding me of uh, the Harry Potter book. I don't know if it's just me, the book which they're getting from Hagrid. Maybe that's just me. I, I don't know. But obviously that's going to be the new Warden skin. You can set him on air as well. I have to say I'm not really convinced that much by the animation when it's coming down to flying. I think they maybe could have made it that he's surfing on the book or something. But hey, that's the that's new skin which you can buy in in-game if you want to. And obviously there's going to come a new scenery with that as well, the shadow scenery. And that's actually kind of dark, um, which is completely new. Like most of the others were more like a bit more lighter, um, more f colorful, I want to say. This one is kind of more like into the dark direction. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how it's looking like when you're taking on it. We're going to do that in just a second so you can see it, but that's how the scenery looks like. If you like it, if you're buying it, make sure to use the creator code. If you, uh, if you would like to support me, it's code ITZU. But now let's go into the easiest, by far easiest way on how to face out this challenge. Whenever you want to have the easiest ways for challenges, make sure to follow this channel because you're always going to get that. But now we're starting things off with the queen. No test loon and you do not need any rages. Three sneaky goblins to make sure the queen is going the right way. And as I said, you do not have to concentrate on the queen right now. Put one archer on the 9 o'clock side, one archer on the 3 o'clock side, and take your time. Everything is fine. Next step is going to be two loons onto this top right side to tank for the battle blimp. The battle blimp is going to get sent across, and you want to open it in the bottom corner of the eagle with the rage together. That's really important. Rage it and put the blimp right there. This is going to not only do off the clan castle, but as well going to take every building down around there. Now you need to take the only rage for your queen. It's only one rage, that's already it. Then one war break for the left and for the right side to get your queen and king lighter into the base. But that's already pretty much every complicated thing, because at this point you're just waiting for the queen to take down the lava hound. You can do an additional wizard if you would like to. Use the, use the poison and then wait for the lava hound to pop. As soon as it's, it's exploding, use the king, use the one from the top side and now just wait. At this point, from this point on, you can just completely forget the, like, forget the left side. The left side does not matter anymore. You do not need any of your spells. And you don't, like, just ignore the queen. The queen is doing to, going to do her thing. You don't care. The queen... She's doing, going to do amazing. You're going to concentrate on this far right side. What you have to wait for is your Barbarian King to go into the scatter. So clear out the Wizard Tower as soon as every building on the outside is down. And the King is going to walk inside that compartment. You're going to start with the Royal Gem on this far right side. And then spam every single Hawk Rider in there. As I said, this is the easiest way. This is the easiest way how to thresh out this challenge. As soon as your Hawk Riders are encountering the first Wizard Tower, you're going to spam in Wizards, you're going to spam in all of your remaining um, Headhunters, and then heal, rage around the Town Hall, use the Warden ability as the Town Hall is about to explode, as I do right there, and then lose, use the last Rage and the last Invisibility spell as you need it for, your, for keeping the Royal Champion alive. That's kind of the main thing. Keep the Royal Champ alive. I'm using the Rage now onto my Royal Champ. The Singer Fern Tower did not lock onto my Royal Champion too early, which means my Royal Champ is staying alive, so I do not need that invisibility spell. I can even swag it. But yeah, if you need it, just use it to protect the Warden or the Royal Champion. And as you can see, the Queen never really had any danger on her. Like, there was no problem whatsoever. She took down the entire left side without any more rages. And with that, the base is going to be done. That's the by far easiest way how to 3-star this base. No problem whatsoever. And guys, if you want to have always the easiest ways to beat those challenges, make sure to follow this channel. And if you buy anything in the shop, make sure to use code ITZU to support the channel. Really appreciate that. And guys, thank you for watching. I hope you completed the challenge. I will see you guys with the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.